Hello everyone, welcome back to No Man's Sky 2021. We're playing permadeath today. Uh, I have a ton of anomaly detectors they've been building up, and I thought today we would see uh, where they're going to lead us. Now I know that they can lead to derelict freighters, uh, but I don't know if they do. So I have 10 of them, so let's get busy and see what anomaly detectors are going to show us. We're in Eisentam, in a system that I just arrived in. I shot a tutorial on how to find portals in this system. So let's take a look at this. A single-use geometric beacon that probes the surrounding area for near-space anomalies. Such objects are highly unpredictable. Select the detector and use Begin Scan to begin the location process. Now it says anomaly detector activated, active, active the pulse drive to assist in its search. <laughs> and it's looking for one, detecting nearby stellar anomalies. There's something. Ooh, an iron bound relic. Let's see what happens when we approach it. I don't think I've seen this one before. It's not communicating with me, so that means to me that I'm supposed to shoot it out of the sky, but let's take a closer look at it first. <laughs> the camera doesn't move very well in space. That looks like a good shot. Let's get it from the other angle with the sun shining on it. Oops. I'm going to try to get that purple thing in the middle. Move forward again. I can almost see it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right. What did we get? 2,650 silver. That takes a lot of space on permadeath. <laughs> we don't need it. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, face a different direction. How about out towards that area over there? Set off another one. Uh, oh, there's still one too close by. We gotta move first. Oh, no, it took it. It's looking for something. Oops. Secret listening post. There's an incoming message. This relay post appears to be broadcasting hollow terminus messages across the system. I may eavesdrop on the signal with the right frequency. Intercept messages. Gra, at last, up shell orm from interloping. <laughs> you can't, uh, you can't destroy these, no matter how much you shoot at them. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll grab a picture. A lot of people have commented how much it looks like an electromagnetic generator. Let's see if we can get out of the way and widen our uh, field of view a little bit more. There we go. <laughs> I've seen that one before. <laughs> over here a little ways. Set off the next one. Unsafe trajectory. I was pointed right out of ship. <laughs> Nearby stellar anomalies being detected. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
Oh, there's a derelict freighter. Now here's a good question. Can you land on a derelict freighter while you're under attack? Oh, the, hus the hostile scan failed. Awesome. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Let's change weapon. Turn on our torch and see what's going on in here. We're gonna go straight for the engineering room. I don't think I need any more slots, do I? Uh, yeah, I do actually, cool. All right, we'll grab a cargo slot from this place and some repair kits. SB winds of Iken status, severe incident. Let's grab some repair kits. I used a ton of those uh, last week, the last couple of weeks. Nothing bad in there. Uh-oh. Let's try to find the door. There it is, right there. Bugs! Bugs everywhere! Oh boy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's an infestation outbreak. <laughs> <laughs> Too many bugs. <laughs> you can really hear their heartbeat. Come on, run, dude. Oh no. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Let's turn on the teleporter. And we'll grab a bulkhead. Thanks. Let's get out of dodge. I kind of expected uh, derelicts to be the most common thing that we would find. All right, let's get away from the derelict. I think we're far enough away. Object is searching for its host. <laughs> Got. Ooh. Ooh. What are you, pray tell? Incoming message. Homeworld Amdu Alpha mission fleeing stellar collapse. Status systems nominal. Day since contact 70,000. Surviving population 774,000. Wow. Over here to the sunny side. Not going to be easy to get a picture with all these asteroids. Way too many asteroids. Oops. Oh, it's already all the way out there. All right. I wonder if there's less asteroids on top. there. 
more silver, just what I needed. <laughs> Very trippy. There's also music with that. Oh, it's got electrical sparks. Trippy. <laughs> Hopefully the next one doesn't stop us right in an asteroid field. Jettison storage silo. Wow. Let's move a couple of those suns up a little bit. <laughs> wow. This one is super cool. That is really cool. All right, let's see what we can get from it. Ionized cobalt, 839. <laughs> Just what I always wanted. <laughs> is my ship completely full? <laughs> All right. Hopefully we won't run into anything. Well, there's another listening post. Let's see what they're talking about this time. It's good to commune. How is Injuku? Viking Yidza, your consort, is powerful and has terp many Yua. Hmm. <laughs> I can only imagine what that means. <laughs> That's a pretty awesome shot right there, too. Uh, let's restore defaults. Turn all that stuff off. That was cool. All right. <laughs> it's picture taking day. Really, another one? Oh my goodness. Uh, Gra, at last, speech orm from interloping. <laughs> Are these things repeating already? <laughs> I think they are. <laughs> See what happens in a system that doesn't have any uh, civilization in it. Just for science. <laughs> Sesky system. Boy, that is truly a red star. It's looking for stuff. I already know that derelicts can happen in systems that aren't uh, occupied. Anomalous Numbers Station. And it's trying to contact me as well. 
So these numbers are anomalous. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's hard to get perspective on that. It's massive, I can tell you that. My little tiny ship, it's smaller than that brain thing. <laughs> I think that thing is a brain thing. <laughs> it talked to us, so we shouldn't be able to shoot it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of glad to get these things out of my inventory. <laughs> okay. Emergency containment device. Oh, that's pretty. Closer. Very cool. sound it makes is also very cool. <laughs> I armed my rockets, but I am otherwise ignoring them at the moment. Oh, that's radical. Sticking around. <laughs> this is the coolest one I've seen <laughs> today. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, we only got one of these left. We need to pulse away. Trying to get out of the asteroid field. There we go. And there's an iron-bound relic again. And this time we got a petrified rodent organs. 213,000. Uh, we might be able to find... Oh, I got somewhere... Oh, from the derelict. We might be able to find a um, an archive. And let's see here... There they are. Just to check the derelict in this system, we'll go ahead and set off one of those. I need the cargo bulkheads, but this, uh, this system has never been checked for its, uh, 
for what uh, class the derelict is. Or what type. Torch should still be on. Nope. There we go. We'll grab that. Gotta replace all those repair kits. Uh, SV Coger 16 status severe incident. And seal the door. Load the gun. <laughs> All right. There's nobody here, but this is disturbing beyond measure. Looks like HG's been doing some of their own glitch building. <laughs> oh, more bugs. Darn. Let's go ahead and look for that door. Oi. <laughs> uh, there's the pink door. Uh, is the room rendered? There it is, right there. Okay. Where am I? Ah, oh, darn it. Got an infestation already. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> They're biting me. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> They're everywhere. Bugs everywhere. <laughs> There's the pink door. There it is over there. Yikes. <laughs> Oops. Didn't hit the back backup key fast enough. Primary crew quarters. Getting bitten. <laughs> Wonder if my character is going to become a zombie. Let's grab some of this stuff. Salvage frigate modules. No, I don't need any. <laughs> Definitely don't need any ammunition. <laughs> I think this is, uh, yeah, this isn't the same weapon, but this is the save that I installed the uh, pulse spitter on, and killing a walker took about 2,000 bullets. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> that was a suicide bug. Let's turn that thing on. <laughs> All right, let's find out what the class is. Fabricate technology. It is a class. That's the first one that I've ever found. Yikes. Bugs. <laughs> Standing around fighting bugs is not my idea of a fun day. <laughs> That's the first time that I've gotten that high of a class. Uh, salvage hyperdrive upgrade. Uh, let's put it right there. 
Now we can do 3,588 light years. I actually have a couple of different places uh, to get the um, S-Class upgrade. But I was curious. <laughs> Let's see, that's Corvax. Let's change to race so that we can just look at the Viking systems. There's a wealthy Viking system we can park in. planet. A contoured planet. Two anomalies in one star system in Isentam. That is actually pretty rare. There is a fungal planet. And behind this is a couple more planets. I'm going to hit the atmosphere. Skim. <laughs> the frozen planet. Activated indium. And there is the a moon. And that is a fissured moon. So we have three uh, anomalous. <laughs> three anomalous uh, places in uh, one star system in Eisentown. And I'm guessing that's probably because it's a blue star. Alrighty. We have uh, just uh, enough time uh, to call in our frigate mission. And uh, I think, uh, I believe the last time we looked at the frigates, we uh, had one S-Class. It actually went up in level pretty quickly. So it has tons and tons of expeditions left uh, with which to improve itself while it's S-Class, which is awesome. All right. And there is that one right there. It's awaiting debrief. Uh, look at all of that. That's amazing. Uh, Expeditions 25. I think we just finished the 26th one. Uh, 25 means that it has 30 expeditions left to go. And it's already a, a uh, S35. So that is really good. 30 expeditions to continue gaining points like that. That's, that's just awesome. I heard ways to 192 successful encounters. Crew mood relaxed. Uh-oh. You know what that means. It means there's nip-nip on board. Uh, here's one of the other ships on the same expedition. 17 expeditions, already a 30. A30. Uh, that's pretty darn good as well. This one's not as good. 22 expeditions, only a 29. But we will go see uh, how they did. Excuse me, dude. <laughs> there they are. Plus one extra. Alrighty. Activated cadmium, nitrogen salt, iridescite. There we go. Basically, and oh, and flux bind tubers. Let's not forget about those guys. And we'll call in this mission, which also had a couple of industrial ships on it. And uh, it was purposefully the same length. Seven enriched carbon, awesome. More stuff for making stasis devices and lots of junk to sell.
And this guy did not level up yet because he's not there. Uh, but we did get this leveled up. Nine expeditions, it's 26. So now we have uh, four Bs, two As, and an S. That's pretty good. Let's see, which ship was it? Um, we were comparing it. Was it Anyang Surveyor? 22 expeditions, it's a 31. Uh, 26 expeditions and it's a 35 so we got to keep an eye on those two all right you guys i want to thank you all so much for coming along i've been wanting to use those anomaly detectors for a really long time and they just kept building up and building up but uh that was a lot of fun checking out all that cool stuff space anomalies are awesome <laughs> uh, <laughs> we will see you next time have a great day